Listen, everybody, to the words I have to say. Better get ready. This is Daniel White the Third with the Second Coming Watch update. This is update number 424. Let's take a quick look at today's prophecy related headlines, which point towards the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and the end of the world as we know it. First up today, according to the Times of Israel, Saudi Arabia may be prepared to field nuclear bombs it has purchased from Pakistan in response to Iran's alleged military nuclear program and may already have deployed missile systems capable of delivering the bombs. According to Mark Urban, diplomatic and defense editor for the BBC's Newsnight. There are suggestions that the Saudis have paid for a number of nuclear weapons that are ready and waiting in Pakistan. If the reports are accurate, the kingdom could have atomic weapons on its missiles even before Iran has that capability. Second today, according to the Times of Israel, Iranian state television has aired a computer animated video that showed an imagined Iranian missile strike on Israeli cities, including Tel Aviv and Dimona, malls and IDF bases. The video was also posted online by the pro-regime website Iran's View, which said on Thursday that the four-minute clip was part of an hour-long documentary that includes a video simulation of Iran's response to an airstrike by Israel against Iran's nuclear facilities. Third today, according to Agency France Press, the AFP, uh, survivors of a deadly earthquake fled their tent shelters on Thursday as mass evacuations got underway in the Philippines ahead of a super typhoon that was strengthening in the Pacific Ocean. Authorities warned Typhoon Haiyan with wind gusts exceeding 200 miles an hour, could cause major damage across a vast area of the central and southern Philippines when it made landfall on Friday. The State Weather Service said the typhoon was continuing to intensify, and at the time of this report, it has already hit. Fourth today, according to the New York Times, When an asteroid exploded over a Russian city in February, shattering windows for miles and injuring well over 1,000 people, experts said it was a rare event that might occur only once every 100 to 200 years on average. But now a team of scientists is suggesting that the Earth is vulnerable to many more similarly sized space rocks than was previously thought. In research published on Wednesday by the journal Nature, they estimate that such strikes could occur as often as every decade or two. The findings are helping to elevate the topic of planetary defense from Hollywood fantasy to real-world concern. Fifth today, according to the Jerusalem Post, senior Israeli officials said the country will strongly oppose a proposal that world powers are examining regarding Iran's nuclear program. According to the officials, who said the proposal calls for Tehran to stop uranium enrichment to 20% and slow 
work on its hard water reactor in exchange for sanctions relief. Jerusalem views this as a bad deal. The official said that Iranian President Hassan Rouhani himself had admitted that a country that retains the ability to enrich uranium to 3.5 has the capability to build a bomb. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus Christ is said in Revelation 22:12, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according as his work shall be. Our second coming quote for today is from Charles Stanley. He said, Have you ever had the experience of closing your eyes as you listened to some brilliant piece of music and later remarked that you were carried away by its beauty? Well, that's what it means to be raptured, to be carried away. Ladies and gentlemen, you can read these stories in more detail and get more prophecy-related news at secondcomingherald.com. If you are not ready for the return of the Lord Jesus Christ, may I encourage you to get ready today by receiving him as your Savior. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Just believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died for your sins. Be willing to confess your sins and repent of your sins. Believe that he was buried and rose from the dead by the power of God for you and for the world so that you can live eternally with him. Pray and ask him to come into your heart today, and he will do so. Romans 10.13 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Until next time, keep looking up, for your redemption draweth nigh. Let us join in the prayer of John uh, the Revelator when he prayed, Even so come, Lord Jesus. God bless you. Yeah.